Welcome to the episode number 11 where you will see another 10 uncommon tricks on Mirage. This is literally unbelievable that we got another 10. So another video from Mirage. Feel free to rewatch the previous ones since there are lots of cool Mirage tricks out on my channel and I feel that this map is fully explored. Although I still managed to get another 10 ideas into this video so this map may keep giving the content for us forever. There is also a Steam bonus code inside this video so if you are here early you got a chance to win some free money. If you are not then subscribe with notifications on and keep an eye on my Twitter so you know when I am releasing my videos and you can be here early next time. But if you are here only for giveaways then rather just leave. Anyways I hope you enjoy these creative thoughts. Let's begin with a simple nade lineup idea. There are situations when you are in the palace and there is an enemy in the firebox corner. You can actually throw a very effective nade from palace to firebox. Hug this wall and line yourself up with this door frame in a sandwich. Now look for the upper wooden line here and aim above it. If you are ready then just run a step and throw. Nate bounces off from this wooden plank and lands nicely to this annoying corner. It's actually very easy to throw if you practice it a couple of times beforehand. You can use Molotov with the same lineup. Perfect when a bomb is planted to default. You don't have to show yourself and it gets the corner plus bomb spot. The same logic works also vice versa. You can throw nades from A side to palace using this plank over here. Although it's easier to mess it up in my opinion. But sometimes the palace entrance is smoked. I found out a pretty consistent lineup so you can throw the same nade or molly through the smoke as well. Go to this corner. Now look for these two lines and aim at the point where they would meet. Don't move your crosshair and move a little bit past this brown line. Now when everything is set then just run step throw again. Boom. Some of you may find it easier to walk throw these nades. It may be a little more consistent but I can hit those when I'm running as well. So as always just make sure to practice it before implementing this idea to your actual gameplay. Next up very easy but cool flash I randomly found out in the jungle area. So stay in this corner. Look for the brown mark on the wall, aim at it. If you are ready then left click throw. You can peek out at the same time because this flash won't blind you. As you can see there is a thick wall between you and the flash. So it has zero effect on you. But it gets all the enemies who are facing the jungle. This may be useful in some sort of situations and since it's very easy to remember you got no excuses to learn this one. Alright palace again. As a T there are rounds where you all split up and go to different places just to watch for any CT aggression. Now if you are alone and lose the bomb in a bad position like palace it's basically round over since CTs can just guard the bomb and it's very hard for your team to get the bomb. So if you accidentally take the bomb too far with you you should drop it before you die with it. Now if you are in palace and you drop it casually it makes sound and CTs know that someone is in palace. But if you drop the bomb on the couch, it makes no sound. So if you are in the same situation and you want to drop the bomb in palace, better drop it on the couch. Super general. And here is 10 free super general dollars for the fastest one who can enter this code to steam. Congrats to you. CT spawn, quick and easy deep B app smoke if you want to take the control over the B-Apps at the beginning of the round. Come to this corner, look for this wooden beam and aim in the middle of it like this. If you are ready then jump throw. I threw this in 128 tick server, smoke bounces a couple of times and finally lands nicely to block off this entrance. Combine this smoke with a simple molly and you can easily push deep into the B apps yourself. Next up again one idea how to throw your flashbang. Since I have shown you this already in one of my previous videos 
then I go over it pretty quickly. Go to this position, aim like shown, at the corner, and now just jump throw. You can peek with the flash since this box covers you from the bang itself and you won't get blind. It's a great alternative for the run throw that is probably the most common flash thrown from this position. Try out the jump throw yourself and you won't regret it. Or never know. Still Underwood, since new updated Mirage has this wall corner over here which gives you the opportunity to bounce nades both ways into the palace and out from the palace, we can now easily nade palace from the Underwood position. Go to the exact same corner, aim above this dark box gap and jump throw. Nade lands nicely inside the palace, if you time this right it will make some serious damage to the enemy team. If you throw smoke, then nade. 10 flash with the same lineup, you with your teammates could even try to take palace control, since it's pretty powerful for CTs to have the palace control. It's just hard and usually a little bit too risky to go for it. The bombsite, FaZe Clan likes to execute the strat where they go for a B split but smoke off both archways here. So this position here on the box would be perfect to defend the split from since you can see over the smoke and take one or two surprise kills from short before falling back. You need a teammate who boosts you on the box here and you can just enjoy the great view towards short. If they come from the apps first, you can drop off and hide behind these wooden crates since they are not that easy to wall bank. It's definitely an uncommon position right now and it's very prone to any B apps aggression. So it would be good if your team got the B-Apps control while you are trying out this position. Again B-Bombsite, I had some free time, I mean a lot of free time, otherwise you won't come up with the stuff like this. I explored the map a little and found out an interesting smoke from B-Bombsite to window room. So if needed, in some weird scenario, you will be able to do it. Take a position like this. Pull out your smoke grenade and aim so this brown mark on the wall is exactly under your smoke grenade's top part. Like this. It takes a little practice but shouldn't be too hard. If you are ready then left click throw. Smoke bounces a couple of times and lands nicely into the window room. It leaves no gaps either side. I try to throw one way smoke as well, this would actually have some sort of a use for CTs but it wasn't consistent enough to put it into the video right now. But this smoke could help your teammate in the window room if he is stuck in this corner for example. Or just shuffle some cards in the middle and keep enemy team guessing if it's a one way smoke or not. Middle, easy pop flash for connector. I have already shown you this flash, what you can use when you come out from the underpass. But the same idea pretty much works if you come from top middle to connector. So play around with it and next time take the connector with ease. Even if you don't have a teammate who flashes you in, now you know you have some decent self pop flash opportunities out there. Super general. And the last tip for this video. We are on the A bomb site. If the bomb is planted for short to this open position, you can throw a very easy afterplant molotov from the ramp to win your team some time and possibly the round. No strict lineup. Just make sure molotov hits the stairs corner so it can bounce to the bomb site. If you do it right, molly will spread to the bomb spot and no one can defuse the bomb unless they have a smoke. Anyways, I hope you liked the ideas and learned something new from this video. At this point, we have 11 episodes out there. It's pretty hard to come up with anything new it feels like everything useful and cool is pretty much done, so make sure to rewatch other videos. There are pure gold out in these videos for everyone. We will see you in the next video and thanks for watching. Now it's the best time to click on the next video.